seen though by Cowns again and now Price and now York. Andrea closed him down exceptionally well. It's a great ball by Price and now a chance for the new boy and can he mark his debut? The knee of Chamberlain prevented a fairy tale becoming reality. Great. Johnson's head. Pembridge. Well run by Cowns. Cascarino can turn. Can he shoot? Good save. Alec Chamberlain's working hard for his money today. But this is a good save. Cascarino doesn't really get hold, does he? But well seen by Chamberlain. Mountfield missed it for once. And now it's uh, Elstrup and Black. The two danger man in unison. Good ball across the face. And Derek Mountfield is the culprit. A highly unfortunate own goal. But Luton Town on a breakaway between the two undoubted danger men. Lars Elstrup in picture and Kingsley Black have taken the lead here. Derek Mountfield, own goal. And this is a kind of a hat-trick he won't want. More on that in a second. Black's dangerous cross. And Mountfield in attempting to get it over the bar puts it under and in and Luton have the lead Black forward and Dowie can chase on Nielsen neither would beat Ben Johnson in the uh, indoor World Athletics Championships this weekend I have to say but good tackle from Pembridge and now Luton can do something else down his left side here's Priest. More danger, Dowie, and an excellent save by Spink. And again, Villa gets stretched down the left, down their right. York couldn't get back. Good cross again, this time from Priest. Two Villa defenders missed it, and Spink didn't, thankfully for Villa. Crowd getting very excited, but here's Black. Ooh. He does know where the goal is, this boy. Here he is again, on his left foot. Ten Rice. Good tackle, McDonough. Now Black. Dreyer. Good ball from Dreyer. And Black again creating space for himself superbly. And that's even more than he could have hoped for because it's going to be a Luton corner. As we go into the dying minutes of the first half now. Corner given away by Gordon Cowens. And Spink waits and organises. Pembridge, good effort, oh, what a magnificent goal for a youngster, what a superb goal, and Villa are in real problems here, this is as good a goal as I've seen this season, short little corner, dragging players away from the box, and that's where the ball goes, and you can hardly fault speak because it's gone in literally into the corner of a post. What a marvellous moment for a young player, Mark Pembridge, 20 years of age. And Cascarino not offside because one or two like Roger had stayed slightly back off the defensive line. Penrice there first, York, edge of the box. Luton can't clear. Gage makes something out of that ball from Cowns, read it well. McGrath, everybody forward of him, Cascarino was pulled, must be a penalty, and that is poor defending by John Dreyer on Cascarino, and here's perhaps Aston Villa's lifeline, how often we see this, there was a clear pull, and that is really enough to make a manager fume, but it's given 
Aston Villa a lifeline and it's David Platt on his return to the first team in front of his beloved Holt End. Would you believe it? Cascarino, can he finish? No, he can't. And is it truly to be Luton's day? The blast. Straight at Alec Chamberlain from David Platt. And it manifestly did not work. There's a zip about the second half so far. But really and truly, Villa have spurned a marvellous opportunity. And it's just as well that you've studied philosophy down the years in moments like this. Luton still lead, two goals to nil. And when offered a lifeline, Villa have not profited from it. McGrath. But there's a certain zip about Villa's play since the break. Gage forward, Cascarino. And Priest tidies up again, busy and tidy. And now something, Elstrup, who is quick. And this could finish it as a contest. Lars Elstrup, magnificent save from Nigel Spink. The second outstanding save he's produced in this game. As Elstrup struck that offside. And that was really fingernail stuff. Pembridge, left foot again. Different style, different result. Good battling from Beaumont in midfield. He's done a quiet, hard job today. But Cowan's gets Villa going. Gray. Can Rice showing well. Platt's legs won't take him into that hole. And York cut the keeper off. And it meant that the defender had time. Now, Cambridge with space. And with Johnson to his right. And this is Johnson. Elstrup and Dowie, the two big guys. Chris Waits, short. Another clever little variation from Luton. They scored from one of these. Black, good ball, good header. As it came in, and it was Roger. And again, those clever little corners engineered by Priest and Villa are not dealing with them. And here's nearly what happened as a result. Just clipping the top of the uh, goal support. And a clever knock from Ben Rice. And here's Platt. Here it is again. Ben Rice just getting himself in the way. And Platt. So clever in front of goal in making space for shots like that. And it's surprise, surprise. A defender who goes off and a goal scorer who comes on. Ian Olney is on. Again, Cowens tries to step up the tempo. McGrath. Still McGrath. Too long. Cowens keeps it. Platt. One back. One back by Cascarino sheer weight of numbers produces some reward for Villa and they're still in this game Cowan's keeping the ball alive good athletic header by Platt Cascarino reacts quickest 